Hi there, I'm Michelle from tellthetrees.com. Today I'm going to talk about how writers and authors can use Pinterest for business. If you've never used Pinterest and do not have an account, you can sign up on pinterest.com and then follow the prompts for setting up a business account. Pinterest also provides tutorials for how to claim your website and get rich pins, which are important for using the platform. I won't go into that in this video. If you want more guided help, you can find my book on Amazon called Content Marketing 7-Day Pinterest Plan that will guide you through how to set up your account as well as how to use the platform to promote your business or books step by step. You can find that link in the comments of this video. For this video, I want to talk about how self-published authors or wannabe authors can use the platform. Of course, businesses have used Pinterest and found success, but can writers do the same? Yes. In this video, here are six ways you can use Pinterest for business to promote your books and writing. Number one, create book specific boards. When you create boards, focus on how you want to highlight your book. Boards are where pins will be placed. So how do you see people viewing your content? Think of boards like categories, but with keywords. Each board has a name or title, a description and pins. All of these relate to one theme or topic. For instance, if you're setting up a board to highlight your book about investing, you'd want to focus on keywords that talk about investing. Then place the pin you create for that book inside the board with a URL that points to the book product or landing page. Use boards to showcase cover art, book quotes, and reviews. Number two, share self-publishing writing tips. Visitors on Pinterest are looking for help. And if you're trying to attract a certain audience, you could also share writing tips. If your audience isn't other writers, you could instead create pins that focus on book resources or advice from your book. Create an opt-in freebie on your website and a sign-up form for collecting emails. Then create pins that direct to that content. Number three, behind the scenes content. No matter what platform you use, people wanna see your processes. Before and after images, your writing area, how you created a cover, all of those are fun for people to see and make you likable and human. What are special tools that you use? Maybe you could even join some affiliate programs to make a little extra and promote your work in the process. Number four, visual storytelling. Consider using idea pins. Videos are also great for Pinterest and sharing your process and work. If your book tells a story or is fiction, you could give a glimpse into the story using idea pins. You can use up to 20 images or videos or a mix of both. Use text overlay and recognize that audio might not be turned on for the user. Text will help tell the story. Number five, collaborate with other authors. Group boards on Pinterest aren't as popular as they once were. Even so, you can still find other writers and authors and possibly collaborate with them and cross promote each other's work. Group boards allow multiple contributors, which can increase the visibility of any pins you post. Number six, offer book recommendations. Instead of focusing solely on your own work, you can also share book recommendations. The great part about sharing others' work is that people can find yours as well. Find books that inspire you, have beautiful cover art design, or have quotes that you enjoy. Pin those to relevant boards. And those are my six ways in which I use Pinterest as an author. Let me know in the comments if you use Pinterest and other ways you found that work for you. Be sure to visit my website at tellthetrees.com and learn more about self-publishing. I've also included a link to my post in the video notes.